Good morning and welcome in. I am back home now. I went uh, camping on the weekend there, so I didn't really make any videos up there. So probably won't have a couple of days of video. But uh, anyways, I'm back home and got to get the truck in to do a safety. So I'm going to do a check over on it. Uh, and I'm going to change those lights on top of the roof there, the marker lights. They are starting to act up and I want to put the uh, clear lights up in there and then also uh, on the glad hands what I'm going to do is on the glad hands I'm going to replace them they're pretty beat up already so uh, going to change them and then uh, also my bunk heater keeps smoking there overnight so I'm going to uh, change the little screen in there I just figured I show you the uh, air filter for the air intake for the cab for the fan inside there that always blows the air conditioning and heat in that in just change that and just have a look at how dirty it is I mean that's a brand new one and that's the one that was in there so that just goes to show you they're real dirty eh and on the wall where they got it right up here right in there that's where they got them in there so that's where we're gonna replace it put the brand new one in and it's also got one in the bunk right underneath the bed so I just figured I'd show you guys that okay I just took out the little screen that's uh, right by the uh, diesel filter for for my bunk heater I'm gonna show you how tiny it is and that's how tiny that little thing is and you probably need a screwdriver with a little uh, uh, little bent pick like that so in order to get it out I'm gonna show you where this thing goes into this is what it normally looks like got the little diesel pump right there and right there at the end that's where it goes in and then this hose uh, right here goes into that and I uh, got the little filter right in between there so to to get keep the dirt out you know but anyways I'm gonna go install that alrighty this is where my bunk heater is going to go ahead and take it out we got uh, two screws on each side we gotta take them out if I can move that cable there yeah, you see them screws right there gotta take them out and then uh, we can take the bunk heater out alrighty just finished taking out the bunk heater so now we're going to go take it apart and change the screen so here you can see Got me the bunk heater apart. Got to take those uh, two, uh, four screws out over there. Got the tools over here. Got the air compressor over here. Got some WD-40 to take those screws out more easier. But anyways, we'll get started. Alrighty, this is what it looks like when it's all taken apart. This is where you got your needle in there to, to heat the whole thing. We'll take it apart and we'll show you that okay this is what it looks like right in there is where the uh, burner goes in there and there's supposed to be a little tiny hole right there and it's all plugged that is my reason why my bunk heater isn't working so I'm gonna open it up and show you guys alrighty now you can see now the hole is open that was all plugged up that little tiny hole can cause that bunk heater not to get air and you know fire needs air in order to burn so that's why it didn't burn in my chamber alrighty got it all back together and uh, let's go outside and put it back in the truck and give it a test run see how she works alrighty I changed the lights up there by the sunroof there now you can see I got the clear gloss one and I just uh, finished fixing up the uh, bunk heater here I think so I just turned it on and we'll see what happens. Change the uh, glad hand uh, handles already. And uh, we'll see if my bunk heater will work now this time. Okay, it sounds like she is working. Have a look at that. That's where the exhaust is. And you can clearly hear it is running properly. So uh, that's a good sign. So I should be good to go for winter time. Already just finished washing the truck so uh, the truck is all ready to go into the shop tomorrow and we'll go take it to the shop and get some stuff done tomorrow there and then uh, the day after that we'll take it in for do safety on the truck so 